Welcome to Endo Club Spring 2017. Here we are going to show you a patient with a small adenoma at the ileocecal valve, an 82-year-old lady. The reason for the initial colonoscopy was diffuse abdominal pain, and she had previously had a neuroendocrine tumor in the stomach. Her last colonoscopy three years previously was unremarkable. But is it still unremarkable? Mr. Steinbrook, how do things look? You've just seen the one image and the polyp compared with what we've seen already today is rather unspectacular. Here you can see the valve. On the right you can see the cecum. And if I now move down a bit, down here on the posterior lip of the valve, there's this polyp. Here you can see it. So it's very small. More or less a 1S lesion. I can pull it into the cap a bit. Here you can see the polyp now with a fine gyroform pattern. It's really striking. So if you take the Sano classification, you could say it's type 2. Corresponding to the histology, in the end it's a low adenoma with maximum low-grade intraepithelial neoplasia. And with these fine gyroform structures here. Although most people know the Sano classification, maybe you could just explain again briefly what you mean, type 2. The Sano classification goes from type 1 to type 3. And in the end it's an NBI plus magnification classification. There's a simplified version, the NICE classification, where in the end you only need an NBI endoscope. Now we're going to put a bit of blue on it. So, because that would be the capillary pattern. Now we can assess the pit pattern as well. You don't necessarily need to do that with a lesion like this because it's almost certainly likely to be highly benign. Aesthetically, it's already a gain. I think so too. Blue's always fine, isn't it? So I'm going to put near focus on again. And here we're no longer seeing the capillary pattern, the vascular pattern, but rather the pit pattern. And that's also regular, gyroform. I don't want to run through the whole Kudo classification here. But this is more or less 3L to 4 in the Kudo classification. So it's an adenoma. I've advanced the needle here. Let's inject under it a bit. Withdraw the needle. I'm going directly behind the polyp, as you can see. And inject. Inject, please. And now what unfortunately sometimes happens. The mucosal cushion. Which we don't want. I'll go a bit deeper and quick. Inject again. Yes, that's good. Open. You can view it very well with the cap. And now I'm going along here with the snare. It's a monofilament snare, 15 millimeters. Underneath the edge. Down along here. Now slowly close it. The snare. So, it's off. There's the resection surface. So now I'm going to try very tangentially. So you don't get too deep. There. And now it looks actually as if, no, at the top. It's still a bit wet, isn't it? Let's see if we can rework it in that marginal area a bit. Here a bit higher. Yes. Histology revealed a low-grade adenoma, a good one centimeter in size. 